I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Pastor Karen, serving the Lord in the throne of grace. Holy and righteous Father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, God. Come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released on everybody listening. God, give your people ears to hear and eyes to see. Lord, we are so thankful that we are no longer slaves of Satan. We've been liberated by your blood because 2,000 years ago, you gave your life, our Messiah, our Lord and our King. You laid down your life. You disarmed the principalities. Lord, you conquered death, hell and the grave that today we could be free by the blood of the Lamb. We're totally debt free by the blood of the Lamb. And this is good news. We can wake up and say, good morning, God. Thank you, we're debt free by the blood of the Lamb. Our sins have been forgiven. It is written, get behind me, Satan, for I shall serve the Lord my God and serve him only. In Jesus' name, amen. Today I'm in Romans 16. And this was uh, Paul. He says, greet one another with a holy kiss. The churches of Christ greet you. Now I urge you, brethren, make those who cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine you've learned and avoid them. So he says, those that cause divisions, offenses, and it's they're contrary they're contrary to the good news of the gospel they say things and they act and they do things that just aren't in the word of god paul said to avoid them if it's possible avoid them for those who do such things do not serve our lord jesus christ but their own belly and by smooth words and flattering speech they deserve they deceive the hearts of the simple. Now, I, I looked up that word simple, what he meant, the innocent. They deceive the hearts of the innocent by smooth words and the belly, the belly, food, food and smooth words. But he says, for your obedience has become known to all. Therefore, I am glad on your behalf I want you to be wise in what is good. So Paul is saying, be wise in what is good, but be simple, be innocent concerning evil. And this I love. And this is the word of the Lord from the throne of grace today. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Well, listen to this. I'm going to prophesy over you right now that the God of peace crush Satan under your feet today by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, the curse is broken. By the blood of Jesus, the shackles come off. By the blood of Jesus, you are liberated from that witchcraft spirit. You are liberated from depression. You are liberated from confusion. You are liberated from poverty. Lord, I thank you for crushing Satan under the army of God's feet today, God all over the world, God. Everyone listening, God, I pray for a special blessing. God, send the armies of heaven and crush that old devil under their feet today. And Lord, open up those prison doors and let the captives go free. God, today is a day of good news. We've got the good news right here. We can see who wins the battle. The Lamb has overcome. We can see that we are part of the greatest army in the entire universe. We're not losers, people of God. We're winners. We are winners because the Lamb has overcome. I want to tell you, Jesus Christ has never lost a battle. So no matter what you're going through right now, no matter if you need a healing, 
You need a deliverance. Lord, I pray right now. You know the situation of everybody watching right now. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you crush Satan under their feet and make give them a mighty victory today in Jesus' name. I pray for everybody that is sick. Lord, I ask that you crush that spirit of infirmity under their feet, God. And I pray for the miraculous to break out right now, God. Lord, you took the nail in your hand. Your blood was shed so they could be healed today. By your stripes, they are healed. And I ask God for everybody listening right now that's waiting on a healing, waiting on a deliverance by the blood of Jesus Christ, set your people free, heal your people, and crush that old devil under their foot. In Jesus' name, make the enemy of righteousness an ash heap. Hallelujah, a smoking furnace that burns forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. This is a day of good news. A big God bless you from the throne of grace.